Hi friends. It is really dark out, so sorry for the sucky lighting. It's only like 7.50 here though, in wonderful Bloomington, Indiana. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick grocery haul. I'll probably film like all the stuff I actually bought tomorrow, but I'm gonna show you myself while I'm grocery hunting. Kind of creepy as people walk by. The girl kind of like she was from like the ring or something. Okay, that's like kind of rude of me. Whatever. So stay tuned. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty still. I uh, went to the gym and hit legs today, and got carbolite afterward. Yeah, exciting day. Let's just go grocery shopping. Okay. If someone could ever explain to me why they have the 100 calorie brand of Better Oats in maple and brown sugar and cinnamon roll, but not the freaking apples and cinnamon or the blueberry muffin. That'd be greatly appreciated. Like what the heck? What's up guys? So I actually just picked up another package I'm very excited because I think I know what this is, so let's unbox it. Okay, so Dr. Schultz is the brand and they sent me uh, hand sanitizers and they actually reached out to me on Instagram about trying some of their products. Um, the reason I say yes is because what's cool about them is they're made with essential oils and they're enriched with vitamin E and A vitamins, so it just makes them kind of stand out to me more than other hand sanitizers that are just like your basic store hand sanitizers. So I got this to try and I will let you guys know how that is. So just like I told you, I was gonna come to you with a grocery haul. Well, I decided to expand that into my macro friendly grocery haul. So it's gonna be some stuff that's already been in my pantry and my fridge, but I wanted to show you guys anyway what I've been eating and awesome food you can eat for insanely low macros. Your mind's about to be blown. Are you ready? Let's go. First up, zucchini pasta. Uh, this is the zucchini lentil pasta with cheddar sauce. So you can see there, that's what it's supposed to look like. And it tastes like mac and cheese. Macros are for per serving, and there are two and a half servings per container. Um, 160 calories, five fat, 18 carb, one fiber, 10 protein. This stuff is legit. I ended up eating an entire bag of it. No regrets. Next we've got Star Wars popsicles and they're 18 per pack and usually you think popsicles are bad for you, whatever. One popsicle is 20 calories. It's just literally five carbs, guys. And they're Star Wars. And who doesn't like themed food? I swear, I am more likely to buy food if it's themed. I'm a kid. I have been drinking this a lot in the morning and it is the salted caramel uh, iced coffee beverage from Kroger, Kroger brand. Um, it's light, so it's 40% fewer calories than like usual coffees. And it is 80 calories, two and a half fat, 13 carb, and two protein for one cup. And there are eight servings per container. And you guys, this is so freaking good. It's like Starbucks or better. So save some money, save some calories, hit up your next local Kroger. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I was drinking this just straight straight up and that's how good it is um it's the is it tazo ice passion herbal tea this is the concentrate so you're supposed to add water to it but honestly it's so freaking good um serving size is half a cup 120 milliliters and it's 20 calories five carbs and basically it tastes like starbucks so another reason you should just skip starbucks hit up your grocery store and save some money okay so i'm not a huge person that like makes coffee on their own but i did find this Reese's uh, International Delight brand of coffee creamer. Serving size is one tablespoon, one and a half fat, five carb, zero protein. And um, the hack I have for this is that if you don't wanna put it in coffee, I like to put it in oatmeal, honestly. Like you can try to put it in other foods too. I bet it tastes good in like almond milk maybe or something, like just experiment with it. We got the Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch Yogurt Dressing. What I like about this is I, I'm addicted to ranch but obviously real ranch has like what like at least 12 grams of fat in it per serving I swear this stuff 
it goes on everything. Also, can't go wrong with the classic reduced sugar ketchup. Um, again, 16 grams is the serving size and it's only one carb, that's it. And honestly, like it does taste a little different than regular ketchup, but you, your taste buds will adapt and you'd be surprised how many calories add up from regular ketchup. It is totally worth using the reduced sugar. I find myself usually always going over on fats almost or like going way under for the day. So um, on the days that I'm using up my fats really fast, I like to just chow on these. It's a Greek, Dannon Light and Thick Greek yogurt brand. This is strawberry cheesecake flavor. Um, but they're only 80 calories and the nutrition facts aren't on like this one exactly, but it's zero fat, nine carb, and 12 protein. And some of them have eight carbs in it. So these are literally so good. And I mean, I eat like mm, at least one a day. Gotta get the micros in somehow. And obviously I haven't mentioned eating any vegetables yet. Well, actually no, I have that zucchini thing, but that wasn't like whole vegetable. Anyway, raspberries. Um, I don't know the exact nutrition facts on this, but I know like I, I used 50 grams once and it was like five carbs maybe. Super low carb and guys, it like helps your cravings so freaking much. I am usually always a Walden Farms girl, but recently I switched to the Kerry sugar-free low-cal syrup. Um, a lot of sugar-free syrups have similar macros, so it's not just this one, but the macros on this are 15 calories per serving, so one-fourth a cup with six carbs and that's it. So it's nice to have on protein pancakes or waffles, or even if you're just like, I want to eat a real pancake, it's nice to have that and then just use the syrup instead of getting all the calories. And to me, honestly, I can't taste a difference. This is the peanut butter I just now bought. It's a Smart Balance Creamy Natural Rich Roast. And for me, peanut butter is a food that like, if I'm going crazy off my macros, I'm just gonna, it's so easy to keep scooping, guys. It's so bad. Um, the macros are pretty similar, 15 fat, um, eight carb, seven protein, four 32 grams, you know, two tablespoons. But um, the good thing about this is not only does it have omega-3 in it, but I can taste the omega-3 when I'm just eating spoonfuls. So it's kind of like, eh, when it tastes like that, just straight up. But like if you put it in oatmeal, you can't taste a difference. So for me, at first I was like, I'm never buying this peanut butter again. But then I was like, oh wait, like I'm not gonna be tempted to overeat on it. So I'll just use it in recipes. So if you're that type of person, like, I love this peanut butter because in recipes you can't taste the difference. If you're trying to eat it straight up, but you usually overeat peanut butter, this might be something you want to look at. From the dawn of my health journey, these have been the real OGs. Um, it's the Better Oats 100 calorie like oatmeal packets basically. Um, my favorite flavor, there's like two, cinnamon roll and maple and brown sugar. And I like the maple and brown sugar better. I kind of go back and forth. I guess I just got tired of the cinnamon roll but calories 100, two fat, 18 carb, three fiber, and three protein. And it's got like a ton of vitamins and stuff in it too. So I'll eat one or two of these throughout the day. And it's so good guys, it's so good. Add peanut butter to it and you guys, I did not realize how voluminous popcorn can be. Um, this is the Orville Redenbacher's Smart Pop Butter Flavor. And for one bag, it's only 100 calories. Um, it's two fat, 22 carb, and three protein. And guys, like this fills you up. Please go check it out. Like perfect for a movie night or something. Like it'll fill you up. Only 22 carbs. Like I, you can't really ask for better macros than that. Sticking on the popcorn trend, I have the Simple Truth Organic brand of this low sodium popcorn that they produce. And it's in mini individual bags. There are six bags for one of these packets. And I'll show you what the mini bags look like. They're just this big. This, they're cute, they're small, they're portable. And what's good is if you tend to overeat popcorn or something, it's such a small snack because it's only 50 calories a bag, two fat, seven carb, one fiber, one protein. Literally, like if I just need something really quick just to like, snack on for some reason, I'm feeling snacky, like this is so helpful. It's time to get seasonal. And uh, along that individual bag line, I found these. Um, it's the Garden Veggie Chips, Ghosts and Bats shaped and it's sea salt flavored guys they're so good i'll show you what like a bag looks like one of these little guys it's so cute literally three and a half fat eight carb less than a gram of protein 70 calories for the whole bag yeah i mean it's a little less filling the popcorn to be honest but it's cute it's seasonal 
And last but not least, on our holiday-ish theme, we have the light Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Um, this is good, it's only 25 calories per serving, four carb, two protein. Guys, this is nice, just cause like at night you're craving some chocolate or you're just like, you wanna feel cozy. Like for me, I like light my candles, turn on Netflix or something, like get under a warm blanket, like hot chocolate is just, it's a good way to end the day. And those low macros are too. That's the end of this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other macro friendly like hacks, especially seasonal ones, because I am all about the seasons right now. Um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.